Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks when feet and preparation combine The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe Jesse Ryle representing for I Just Star Mindset Rich forever Said blessed love, manners, and respect. Want to greet the item in the divine name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Il Selassie I, Empress Menin the First, Holy Manuel I, King Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari. One more day above ground, as we know, life is our ultimate position. Not no greater than that, no matter what go on. Zane. So we there have to look upon a thing. Um, I listen to a, 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 a reasoning. Uh, I think it was yesterday. Zin, but we want to play a little recording based on the recent um, development from the Broadcasting Commission of Jamaica. Zin, which them we see them issue a ban. Zin and the music are certain. Um, lyric that is used or certain content that is used within the music and certain things that the music is promoting they are banning they are banning music that is promoting drugs Zane um, Mali um, them are them, them, them are banned music where I uh, promote illegal um, guns, them a band music where I promote scamming, which them call lottery chopping. Zin, yes, yeah, so them said them a prom them 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 a ban music. Zin, where I promote um, them type of content. Zin, and it's not the first time that we 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 we, we hear these things. Of banning certain songs, Zin. I don't know. I think it's probably um, this is probably getting from bad to worse now. But um, yeah, them said them a ban, them a ban certain songs. You understand? We are promote um, guns, drugs, and chopping. All right. So, me I listen a thing um, the other day, and me were bridging from you know pan pan a program that I I listen. Zin, um, say boy, there are certain well every artist. Zin, him say every artist who sing and promote them type of music there, them should come out and apologize. Zin to 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 the Jamaican public. He mentioned three names in particular. Zin he mentioned Sizzler. He mentioned um, Shabarangs. He mentioned Bounty Killer, and he also mentioned um, um, Capitan. Zin that them bridging they should um, should apologize. 
what 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 would i want to know from you know the ones them who follow this platform and listening to me right now should these artists apologize Cause i guess what 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 um the virgin why he's asking for them to apologize is and not only them but because he mentioned these um particular artists zine and i don't think him have anything against them neither do i you understand but um more i forget the item and his thoughts and opinion i'm gonna play uh the clip in a moment zine but you know more of it does highlight um a few things because i know the first time we hear the broadcasting commission ban songs you understand are banned specific um songs that you know uh probably highlight certain things it's not the first time you know we know them ban fire upon rome and what you know what what is it that fire upon rome was um was incited what is it that they had to ban that song I think the song probably go against the status quo or the song is leaking against corruption and because probably you know people who them say when you fling stone in a hog pen you know the ones who ball out you know them get licking you, know. you understand so when we hear fire upon room from anthony b which is a prolific song and is a song that still play up until today and still relevant you see me i say we never see no need for them ban it but they did so when you fling stone in a hog pen and you hear who squeal out you know so boy you know it's like you step on somebody can you know so them ban anthony b song and not only anthony b song they, 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 I, I i i don't know if them did ban bounty killer song title anytime zim because that was the next song that um was giving them problem you see me and these songs were reality songs that you know they are they are they're talking reality and people um got through where bounty killer was was talking about you know what I mean? People probably face these things on a day-to-day basis. Zin, anytime you're hungry, we're hungry again, you're going to see we nine. That was just um, one line out of the, or I think that was probably part of the hook of the song, or the chorus. You understand? And, and, and that, I think that is probably why they probably have an issue with that song. If we're hungry again, you go and see with nine, but Bounty Killer never only said that him say a whole parting in a, in 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 a the song. You understand that that poor people, ghetto people, struggling, suffering people can relate to. You understand, especially in a Jamaica, Zin, and part of the song say them ramp with the future and take it and we, and we take it with a smile are we feeling are we feeling the pinch now everything spoil poverty and hungry is not a easy lifestyle we're tired and we're tired and we're tired zane the man said them ramp with the future and we take it with a smile. We feel the pinch. Now everything spoil. Poverty and hungry is not an easy lifestyle. And we're tired and we're tired and we're tired. So anytime we're hungry again, then I go see we nine. Zin. Mm. and they banned that song they banned that song and now 
we see them come out and they're banning other songs. That um, I think, yeah, ban so ban the songs them that is inciting um, folly. Yeah, ban the songs them we are inside folly. The songs them we are inside taking molly. Zin, but. What, what what is it gonna do because what is it what is it going to change is it gonna change anything are the artists them gonna stop making these um type of music hmm? what is it going to what is it going to achieve what is it going to achieve because Shabarangs did a, a, a song back in the days. They said, I love all of the gun them. Zane. Uh, that song wasn't banned. And a whole pass songs that go out there. Even songs from Killer himself. Probably songs from Cable Tanto. Probably songs from um, Scissor. Zane. But what is it going to change if you if you ban if you ban these songs because you ban you, they, they, they ban proper songs that people could relate to that would um, inspire people in I don't know in a positive way is it me and they ban those songs so. The band in a 2009, the band um, a song from from Vibes Cartel and and, and and Spice also. You see me? And what changed? Nothing changed. I think the 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 the, 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 the lyrics them get even worse. <laughs> the lyrics them get worse after them band these songs. Yeah man, the, the lyrics them get worse. Worse. So I don't know what is it they're going to achieve by you know banning um certain and certain songs. It's probably a it's probably a good move, you know what I mean, to kinda um put some tab on, on, on the type of music that go out there. Me say, me say, I say, I, 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 I really this Jackie. Him say, him now stop play, him now stop play the music. Him now stop play the music. Them so I don't, I don't know how it, how it going to work out. I mean, no selectors and other them not going to stop play the music. You understand? Them not going to stop play the music. So, me don't know how that ban is going to impact Zane the artists them stop making certain and certain songs I, I agree that certain lyrics is not beneficial you know and it's not up, uplifting you see me I say and they serve no purpose probably to the people um, who you know they probably it probably serve a purpose to the people um, who love those type of songs you understand? We listen to dance all music. You understand? But we not listen. We not listen any or any dance all music. But we hear a lot of dance all music. You see it? But anyway, I could go in on um, what this virgin was saying. I think he's a dub poet in Jamaica. He was an... Um, honorable jerry small um program the other day so we just want to play um play this little part here with the bridging what the bridging was talking about all right uh, one moment we just get it. Yeah, make a play it now. Uh, 
Alright, it decides that it's not a play. <laughs> it decides that it's not a play. Alright. It decides that you're not going to play. Interesting. Yeah. All right, so um, I think it's playing. I'm just not hearing it. All right, it now playing. Now. So because it now play, we're gonna make it play. All right. Yeah, make we um. Yeah, make we see where I go on. Yeah, so something I go on where. Yeah, we know where I go on. All right, here goes. That we are about to burn to ashes. Yeah. Yes, I remember one Sunday evening, I was there with my children and we were trying to write a song. I know, as artists, we always try to write songs so we could get a hit song. Because when you have this hit song, you could get more work, you could get more tours and so forth. So yeah. I was there that afternoon and I had this rhythm and we were trying to write this song called Cock up your gun, them. Cock up your gun, them. And immediately, I hear a few gunshots rung out around the lane close to me. All right. Let's stop this and um, let's play it from the top. Me? Yeah. It's about this, this banning of this negative music and so yeah. forth here in Jamaica. Yeah. Yes. From 1990, when I was living in Hartford, Connecticut, yeah. I used to live next door to um, a college by the name of Trinity College. Yeah. And I remember when Shaba Rankin put out this song, I up all the guns them and keep them shine and crease. Uh -huh. And from then, it upsets me and I try to do my best to see if we could be down on these gun lyrics. Yes. Number one, before I go no further, I want to make it clear as an artist that I personally respect all artists, but I will not accept or respect any negative music from any of them. All right. Because I know they all have the potential to make great music and perform and write and produce great music. Yes, yes. That can be uplifting to the children, to the people, to Jamaica, to the music industry and to the world. Yeah. Yes. So therefore, I, I see we are now, based upon what is happening, Shaba, people like Sizzla, Capitan, Bounty Killer and all who make these kind of negative gun lyrics should come out and apologize to the people, the beloved people of Jamaica and the music industry, yes. ASAP, and begin to create other music now to, to not accept or respect any negative music from any of them. All right. Because I know they all have the potential to make great music and perform and write and produce great music. Yes, yes. That can be uplifting to the children, to the people, to Jamaica, to the music industry and to the world. Yeah. Yes, so therefore, I, I see we are now, based upon what is happening, Shaba, people like Sizzla, Capitan, Bounty Killer, and all who make these kind of negative gun lyrics should come out and apologize to the people, the beloved people of Jamaica and the music industry, yes. ASAP, and begin to create other music now to, to stem, help to stem that kind of energy that we are about to burn to ashes. Yes. Yes, I remember one Sunday evening, I was there with my children and we were trying to write a song. I know, as artists, we always try to write songs so we could get a hit song. Because when you have this hit song, you could get more work, you could get more tours and so forth. So yeah. I was there that afternoon and I had this rhythm and we were trying to write this song called Cock up your gun, them, cock up your gun, them. And immediately I hear a few gunshots rung out around the lane close to me. Yeah. I turn on my music. I was saying, let us check what is happening. We are crying, bawling about murder, yeah. and someone got killed. Yes. And I said to my son, you see, we cannot sing this kind of music. Right. So therefore, I turn it around and say, put on the gun, them, 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 put on the gun, put on the gun. Yeah. So I, I write the song in that manner. And I begin to perform it on stage. And I, I can remember I performed this song over in a place named Tredegar Park. Tredegar Park, yeah. Very... That are the foothills of, of, of Pinnacle. Yeah. And when I tune in those children to help me burn the guns, 
I love it. I have tapes with it, and they, they, they all help me to burn it to ashes. Yeah. But I alone cannot do this work. I'm going no, no. to do all I can do. But I have recorded this song now. I'll get a copy to you soon. Yeah. And it is playing in London. So far, it is playing. So it, it doesn't begin to play in Jamaica yet, you know. Yeah. It is playing in London right now. But, you know, so I just called to say, and, you know, want to, you know, the people of Jamaica to understand. So, look, negativity of all sorts will take us nowhere. All right. Because those who are singing and writing and recording and promoting and and these and um, and presenting these lyrics w- within the public space, for example, say let's go ahead and do it. I'm sure within months to a couple of years, we all will die here in Jamaica because shooting will be in every home from every man. Yeah, man. And, yeah, and it'll be a disgrace. All right, look at what's happening know. in Haiti. Haiti, you know that Haiti, Haiti is one of the biggest source of of gun, high power gun for Jamaica. You know that? Yes. I have All right. Heard, and and it, it, reached us, it reached a stage. It's not the first. It reached a stage that two or three of the main gang in Haiti can easily take over Haiti, you know, Haiti. Um, yeah. and, 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 and one of the reasons why we have never known the true history and it has never been taught and discussed at length, the true history of the enslavement trade in schools is because... If them start to teach it, we're going to get out the facts one by one. And we're going to find out that one of the main currency that Britain used to purchase or swap for prisoners of war to carry into slavery, them used to swap high-powered weapon for we. So yeah, every one of we as a male, might, they might swap a high-powered weapon or three high-powered weapon. And if the person more valid, they might swap all five. If you know, if you know mason work, I know agriculture, they might, they might get all five hypo. But they don't want us to know, and it has never been taught, is when me a big man, me come find out, say his weapon, high-powered weapon and ammunition was one of the main currents with them used to swap for we. So them was even worse than the, the gun. That is just like the gun lyrics we are going on now. Yeah. But that's why they don't teach those things in school, because then we will realize how far back them are used brainwashing and gun lyrics and gun if you reach where them reach and then afterwards them corrupt some of our people say use the gun for one another them same one yeah. they same one give gun to gangster mine and say go capture other african and up to now yeah. i know some african in jamaica we're still proud of the fact that them and britain have agreement for for trade a week i trade them a trade we in time them a turn we back over turn we back over to somebody's now. When you capture we are not turn back over to somebody. It's a trade you do. Trade. Yes, sir. Yeah. And some of them are still proud of that. Some of them still have an intention to rule we back. Some of them, you know, who, who was traitor in the past and have a tradition of treachery have an intention to rule we back. Up to the other day, I had some guests on my program and one of them was proudly announcing that them and some other African chiefs, so them call themselves African chiefs, has has been Jamaica has been handed over to them and, and they will soon be instituted as a new king over we in Jamaica. Thank you. But yes, I sir. don't see that uh, well I don't see that possible any time coming. It possible if we if we sit down like a damn fool. That is only circumstances and is only under those circumstances I will reach for the firearm. And I'm sure the few, the handful of good people, you will not sit around and let that happen. No, we wouldn't sit around. We'll stand up and reach for the firearm. Well, if necessary. What I'm mean? talking about, only if necessary, that's the only circumstance I'm talking about. Highly talking. Haile Selassie said that without apology. Yes, I know. Yes, without apology. And, know, and, and there's a context for everything. And they will not confuse us and have us apologize for the fact that we will reach for such if it becomes necessary. But that's yeah, what I was talking about. That's, that's why I was. That, one of the reasons why I mistake today for the 16th of October because I was so anxious after something happened last night. I was so anxious to recount to the people that in 1968, when we decided to demonstrate for human rights as you teenagers, and we decided to do it, and it was the most effective action in that, that year, although most of us were teenagers. At that time, the leftists, them, and the communists, and the Marxists, 
used to ridicule we as young Rasta youth because we say we are not pushing for any violent revolution because it's, one, it's our own same people going to suffer the most. But if it yeah. become necessary, if it become necessary, we know that we Africans will fight without fear. But no encouragement of any wrongs and any violence, especially through the airwaves and the media. None. Yes, I totally agree with that. So I hope and I implore my fellow musicians, artists, songwriters, record producers, and presenters. Yes, please. man. But I have to go now. Please. Thank you. I have to go now. Hey, who likes to speak? Who likes to speak and brief, if I may? Yeah. It's about this, this banning of this negative music and so yeah. forth here in Jamaica. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes, sir. So, yes, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, them can't hear where the birds in them, you know. Yeah, I say, you know, regarding the whole um, banning of, um, you know, certain and certain music, and him, uh, him would have loved these virgins, um apologize, but um, what the eye them say, you know, what is the eye them thoughts? You know, I want to play something else before we move. You understand? Um, you know, Queen Africa also said this. I want to share it with the item. Is it? Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, no, do. You know, all right. It are coming up. Yes, it are come. But this is to say to my fellow Jamaicans again. These last three months in Jamaica is not going to be funny. There's a lot of behind the scenes thing happening that's playing out in front of our eyes. And we have to keep them open, be vigilant, pay attention. The devil will make the movie and open the realest way. I remember when they went to Jamaica house and banned Gaza and Gully. And said that was the problem in Jamaica. Because Gaza and Gully was feuding. And see where Jamaica reached today. From that, Vibes got to tell their prison, Movado are run. See? So the ban never did work. So this year ban is a very calculated one. A very planned out one. And if the artists them not come together and meet amongst themselves and start thinking about how we are going to move forward with our industry. Let me see how long it will take to tell them to reach which part them reach. Mm. Maybe 15 years, it will take less than that with that one. Yeah. See? The next thing I want to tell Miss Nikki Manaj over Trinidad, they say, Big up yourself, girl. You do something where spice should have did do. See? But I just want to say, Trinidad, I forgot to wait a little bit more too. You can't get Jamaica just so. Jamaica work too hard. Jamaica work too hard. To put black people on the map. To put reggae music, dance and music on the map. For the whole around to feel like say you can come use some like a decay way and get it. Jamaica people, wake up man. Them are put upon with knee. Them are plan for laugh off with Jamaica people. <laughs> them some of you start to them video and you know, my management team and everybody has some of his leg or the video thing and sting in them. But I can't do it, sir. you see me? Because we see what I go on and we see say, all of them want to come bow down Jamaica and go on. Like I said, Jamaica no mean nothing again. And we set the trend for the entire globe, man. Jamaica. So who can decide how the trend set? And who want to come decide how the trend set for Jamaica? Or how, 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 Jamaica, how the trend set from Jamaica? Let me tell you something, man. No, no, I do, yeah, man. Just no, 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 do, yeah. Because Jamaica helped the whole of you. And none of you now nah come back and help Jamaica. I show off the whole of you show off on Jamaica. You see what I say? You don't want to make a big mountain out of Molil with the Sean Paul and, and, and Stone Boy. Something like you don't know how nah you Sean, ba, Sean Paul and Stone Boy. If you do. You don't move and go to man. You see what I say? You should have Yeah. Yeah, so. Alright, that's how we are going to leave it. See the item can um reason with we in the comment section. See and let we know your views and your thoughts and um you know what's been said. And um before we move, I just want to highlight this thing. Uh, Zin to you know 
all Bobo Shanti Zine and the and the 22nd yeah and the 22nd of October Zine yeah from 6 p.m. J time um, 7 30 um, p.m. US time Zin, all members of the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress are cordially invited to participate in a visual prayer vi um, village um, ceremony to celebrate the life and time of two of our fallen Ethiopian volunteer, um, Queen, Queen Mother Empress Sharon Kelly Steer and also Honorable Priest Edley Samuel. Uh, the program will be addressed opening in reading by the Royal Empress um, Se uh, Sev Sevine, Seven Psalms Read, Seven Psalms Read by Seven Priests opening the floor first to immediate family um, wider family um, reading of the inspirational um, passage closing remarks and closing him zin so all bobo shanti um, is is invited zin yeah invited so manners and respect peace and love reason with we in the comment section yeah holy man will i king celestia ja rastafari bless and sanctify smash that subscribe button see you on the next video i just start the mindset smash that subscribe button see you on the next video i just start the mindset